Is this seat available? Hi. <laughs> yes, it's been quite a while. Sorry I haven't been around. May I sit? Or do you have another patron occupying this seat? Good. Well then, you do now. It's good to see you here tonight. Honestly, I thought you might not be working here still. I remember the last time we talked, that you said you might be going home. And I'm happy that you decided not to. Yes, my usual. I haven't changed my drinking habits since I was last here. What kept me away? Work, mostly. We have a big project that is going to be debuting soon. So there's been a lot of late nights at the office. Thank you. Perfectly made. Though I would expect no less from my favorite bartender. <laughs> Yes, my favorite bartender. I certainly don't come back here for the atmosphere. While I don't mind the aesthetic of the bar, it's a little gaudy for my taste. I prefer a bar with a homier feel to it, like a pub. But unfortunately, none of the bartenders there could seem to get my drink right. And I think you know how particular I am with that. <laughs> yes, yes, I am a bit picky about that. I can't help it. I like things done in a certain way. It's the same for all things in my life. I strive only for the best. And right now, I wanted the best person who could make my drink. And that is you. I'm not saying that just to be sweet. I mean it. I have been to so many bars, but you make my drink with such a finesse. You have it down to a science. It's a rare gift. Ah, it seems your boss is calling you. I'll be alright. You should go see what that's about. They didn't look too eager to go back to their boss. In fact... They don't look too happy tonight to begin with. When I used to come in, they always had a smile on. Tonight though, they were frowning. That smile that I loved to see so much was gone until I said hello. But even then, it was a forced smile. Wait, are they... They look like... They're about to cry. Why is that man yelling at them and getting in their face? I am not going to sit here and watch them get chewed out like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, they were waiting on me and I needed something. No, I want them to wait on me. I don't appreciate your other bartenders. That one that you are yelling at is one of your best ones here. May I ask why you're yelling at them? None of my concern? I think it is my concern. Especially since my brother-in-law owns this bar. I would hate to tell him about the services that I experienced tonight. Yes, him. Oh, I don't think I need to get him involved. As long as you tell me what this is all about. They were late. You are chewing them out because they were late. Ah, they were late last night as well. Well then, little bartender, why don't you explain yourself? No, you already talked. I want to hear from them. 
not you. Now, little bartender, why don't you tell me why you were late tonight? I see. And I believe I told you to hush. From what they just told me, you have been making them work double shifts all week because your other bartenders decide to keep calling out. So why haven't you called someone else? Surely you must see that it's a bad idea to have the same bartender work doubles seven days in a row and deny them their day off. You must have other employees you can call upon. If they are your best, you should be treating them better. Now, before I call my brother-in-law and tell him what poor management he seems to have hired at his gaudy and overpriced bar, I suggest you call someone over to cover the rest of the shift tonight. This one is going to take a few days off. Paid. <sighs> now, little bartender, gather your things and come with me. We're going to get you home. And as for you, if I ever hear that you pull this shit again, I will make sure someone more qualified will have your job. Little bartender, are you ready? Good. We're leaving now. Are you all right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't start crying, please. Here. Take my handkerchief. I'm surprised that you could even offer the smile earlier. Just breathe. They look so tired now that I can see them in the street light and not that dim bar lighting. No, it's all right. You didn't ruin my night. It was your boss that ruined the night with his awful management skills. It's okay. You're okay. We're going to get you home. Do you feel comfortable with me taking you home? I mean, I only ask because we don't really know each other outside of the bar. All right. Follow me. Here we are. Please, after you. Now then, where do you live? All right, I know where that is. Strap in. Are you feeling any better? Good. Next time, if he tells you to do that again, I want you to call me. Here, take my phone and put your number in. I don't want you to have any worry about any fallout from this. For tonight, you should focus on getting some rest. I hope I didn't overstep. I just, you looked so distraught, and I couldn't help myself. You looked like you needed help and just needed to get out of there. And I could help, so I stepped in. Please, do tell me if I stepped over the line. All right, if you say so. Forgive me for saying this, but... Maybe you should find a new job. And I will really have to tell my brother-in-law about the type of people he's hired. <laughs> yes, my brother-in-law is the owner of the bar you work at. In fact, it was because of him that we met. Remember? He had taken me out for a drink, and you were there waiting on us. 
Yes, that was the owner. <laughs> Are you all right? You look pale. Don't worry about my brother. He's a sweet man and honestly enjoyed your services that night. Don't you remember that tip we left you? Yes, it was quite a memorable amount. But ever since that night, I kept coming back. And to be frank, it wasn't just for the drink. I started to enjoy your company. Your wit and kindness struck me. The best part of my day started with being at the bar, talking to you. This last week was hell not being able to come and chat with you. Though it seems that your week was much worse than mine, and I'm truly sorry about that. And hopefully, it won't happen again. In fact, I'll make sure of it. No, 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 no. It, it won't be trouble. It's the least I could do after all that you've done for me. What have you done for me? Well, you have helped me to relax and to have fun again every time that we chat. I've come to appreciate your company. And you saved me from many nights of going home in a sour mood and drinking myself to sleep. You have no idea what that means to me. So, this is the least I could do. In fact, I, I wish I could do more. And we're here. Hold on. Here. Well, I believe this is your apartment building. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the handkerchief. You can keep that. Now get some rest. Like I said, you have the next few days off with pay. Please enjoy them. <laughs> you don't need to keep thanking me. Oh, you want to repay me with something? Join me for dinner. Yes. Let me treat you somewhere nice. You want to repay me? This is the only way I will accept it. Well, think about it. And then I will text you in a couple of days for your answer. I have your number now. But please, enjoy your night. And don't worry, little bartender. <laughs> Even if you don't agree to dinner, I can promise you, this won't be the last time we meet. <laughs>